Hello, I'm Simon Rafe. Today is Friday, February 10th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Catholic colleges attended by devout Catholics had the lowest rates of promiscuity, according to a recent study. Findings showed that morality soared when 80% of students were Catholics, attended Mass several times a week, prayed almost daily, and volunteered twice a month. Such Catholic colleges had less than 30% of their students involved in illicit relationships as compared to 70% at secular colleges. When the concentration of Catholics dipped by 5% and mass attendance fell off slightly, immoral activity jumped to 55% of students being involved in illicit relationships. According to a self-proclaimed nonpartisan research company, a new poll alleges the majority of Americans who identify as Christian believe in allowing gays and lesbians to have so-called marriages. Released late last week, the poll surveyed more than 40,000 Americans in 2016. The report alleges there are only three groups that have a majority that oppose so-called same-sex marriage, white evangelical Protestants, Mormons, and Jehovah's Witnesses. More than 60% of Catholics surveyed say they are in favor of so-called gay marriages, and another 60% of Catholics say there should not be religious exemptions for small business owners who were asked to provide services for same-sex celebrations. An analysis released Tuesday by a free speech advocacy group reveals liberals attempt to censor college speakers twice as often as conservatives. Heterodox Academy, a group that claims to push viewpoint diversity in higher education, studied censorship of speeches from 2000 to 2016. Of the more than 300 disinvitations, 60% of them were the result of left-wing activism. The analysis comes just one week after President Trump threatened to pull federal funds from the University of California, Berkeley, for rioting and injuring attendees of a conservative alt-right speaker. A federal appeals court has ruled against President Donald Trump concerning his recent 90-day ban on immigration from seven Muslim-majority countries. In a unanimous decision, three judges from the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit maintained a freeze on President Trump's executive order. The judges wrote, quote, Rather than present evidence to explain the need for the executive order, the government has taken the position that we must not review its decision at all. In response, President Trump tweeted, See you in court. The security of our nation is at stake. A Texas pro-life advocate has been exonerated of charges in federal court. The Fifth Circuit Court found yesterday that two police officers were, quote, objectively unreasonable, unquote, when they arrested Jonathan Davidson outside an abortion mill in May 2013. Davidson stood on public property outside an abortion mill in the Houston area, speaking to women, entering the abortion mill, offering them coupons for free ultrasounds and pregnancy tests. Police arrived after abortion employees complained, saying he was, quote, flagging down our patients, unquote. He was arrested and charged with obstructing traffic. Charges are pending against the arresting officers. I'm Simon Rafe. Those are your Church Milton headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about crystal ball Catholicism. And check out the download, where once again, the panel is discussing the most important issues in the church today. Please share our headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.